The Seven Kabbalistic Mysteries That Reveal the True Purpose of Life Did you know that our existence can be revealed through ancient and secret mysteries? When we talk about Kabbalah, we are talking about deep knowledge that spans eras and offers us answers to the most fundamental questions of life. Today, we will embark on a transformative journey and explore the seven Kabbalistic mysteries that reveal the true purpose of life. These mysteries have been guarded for millennia and passed down from generation to generation by sages who understood the importance of their preservation. Kabbalah, in its essence, is a spiritual map, an exact language to describe how the universe and life operate. By unveiling these mysteries, we can align our lives with the true purpose of existence. Let's start with the first mystery, unity and infinity. The first Kabbalistic mystery is unity and infinity. Kabbalah teaches us that in the beginning, everything was a single, pure, infinite light, known as Ein Sof. This infinite light is the source of all creation, which means that everything and everyone is part of this fundamental unity. The Ein Sof, this unlimited divine light, is transcendent and beyond any human comprehension. It is essential to recognize that everything in the universe is interconnected and that we are an expression of this unity. This makes us reflect on how we see life and interact with others. Imagine that every act of kindness or malice we perform reverberates throughout the universe, affecting all of creation. Thus, understanding and internalizing unity helps us live more consciously, knowing that our actions have significant impact. Now let's move to the second mystery, the process of creation. The second Kabbalistic mystery is the process of creation, which is unveiled through the Tree of Life. The Tree of Life is a mystical diagram that represents the paths through which divine energy unfolds from Ein Sof to create the material universe. This diagram has ten sephirot, or spheres, each representing an aspect of creation. The sephirot form a system of divine emanations through which God manifests in the world. At the top of the tree we have Keter, the crown, symbolizing the divine will, the primordial origin of everything. Descending the tree, we pass through chakma, wisdom, and bina, understanding, which represent the higher intellectual process. These first three sephirot are known as the upper triangle, reflecting the cosmological triad of creation from its highest point. As we descend, we find other sephirot, such as kased, kindness, representing universal and expansive love, and gavura, severity, the force of discipline and justice. The balance between these spheres is found in Tiferet, beauty, the harmonization between mercy and judgment. Each of these spheres not only composes the structure of the universe, but also resonates within us. In a more practical sense, visualizing and meditating on the tree of life can help us find balance and clarity in our own spiritual and material journey. Let's move on to the third Kabbalistic mystery, free will and responsibility. According to Kabbalah, one of the greatest gifts granted to human beings is free will. The third Kabbalistic mystery highlights the freedom we have to make decisions and shape our lives. Unlike other divine creations such as angels who act purely by divine duty, humans have the ability to choose between good and evil, which adds an extraordinary dimension to our existence. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Every choice we make has consequences. This places us as co-creators in the structure of the universe. If we use our free will consciously and in alignment with higher principles, we contribute to the harmony and evolution of the world. But if we deviate, we contribute to dissonance and chaos. Thus, Kabbalah teaches us the importance of introspection, self-analysis, and constant teshuva, or return to the correct path. This process of self-knowledge and personal responsibility is crucial to living a life that is in harmony with the true purpose of existence. Our fourth mystery, reincarnation and the evolution of the soul. The fourth Kabbalistic mystery addresses reincarnation and the evolution of the soul. Kabbalah describes the soul's journey as a continuous process of learning and growth. In each life, the soul carries lessons from past existences and brings forth new challenges to overcome. This means that our lives are not isolated events, but chapters of a larger spiritual journey. According to Kabbalah, the difficulties and tribulations we face are opportunities to correct flaws and reach a higher state of existence. The soul is immortal 
and continues its development until it attains perfection and complete union with the divine. Understanding this mystery encourages us to see adversities in a new light as chances for evolution and learning. Reincarnation is not a punishment but a blessing, offering multiple opportunities to grow and perfect ourselves. The fifth mystery, the spiritual worlds. Kabbalah reveals that the universe is composed of multiple spiritual worlds, or planes of existence, interconnected and hierarchical. The fifth mystery is precisely the concept of spiritual worlds known as absolute emanation, bariah, creation, yetzira, formation, and asiya, action. Each world represents a different level of consciousness and proximity to the divine. Absolute is the state closest to Ein Sof, where the presence of divine light is purest and most intense. As we descend through the worlds, the light becomes more densified until it reaches the physical world, Asaya, where we experience duality and separation. The higher in the spectrum of spiritual worlds, the more aligned we are with divine truth and purpose. Each of us has the ability to access these higher planes of consciousness through meditation, prayer, and spiritual practices. This provides us with a deeper understanding of our own nature and the universe around us. And so, we move to the sixth mystery, the balance between the masculine and the feminine. Balance is a central concept in Kabbalah, and the sixth mystery addresses the balance between masculine and feminine energies, represented in the Tree of Life by opposing Sephirot. These energies are not limited to human gender, but reflect characteristics and universal principles present in all forms of life. Masculine energy is seen as active, expansive, and giving, while feminine energy is receptive, contained, and nurturing. The harmony between these forces is what drives creation and sustains life. Thus, Kabbalah teaches us to value and balance these aspects within ourselves and in our interactions with the world. By recognizing the importance of these energies, we can create a healthy balance in our lives, promoting more harmonious relationships and a fuller life. This knowledge can also be applied to how we approach any situation or challenge, always seeking balance to achieve the best results. Finally, the seventh mystery, the return to the source. We come to the last Kabbalistic mystery, the return to the source. All Kabbalah teachings culminate in the idea that our spiritual journey is a long voyage back to our original state of unity with the divine light. This return is not just a physical movement, but an inner transformation that involves the purification of the soul and the realization of our true purpose. The return to the source is a process of redemption and ascension. Every spiritual practice, every act of kindness, and every moment of insight is a step in this journey. Kabbalah invites us to reconnect with this inner truth, to remember our divine origin, and to live in accordance with this wisdom. To conclude this journey through the seven Kabbalistic mysteries, it is vital that we reflect on how these teachings can be applied in our daily lives. By internalizing unity and infinity, we understand that we are all part of something greater and live more consciously and responsibly. Understanding the process of creation aligns us with the cosmic order, and finds balance in our path. The recognition of free will empowers us to make conscious choices that benefit everyone. Reincarnation offers us multiple chances to learn and evolve, and the spiritual worlds reveal the breadth of our multidimensional existence. The balance of masculine and feminine energies teaches us to live in harmony, and the mystery of the return to the source reminds us that our true journey is to return to the divine. I hope this deep and rich explanation of Kabbalah has touched your hearts and minds. May you apply these teachings in your lives and find the purpose and peace you seek. Each of us is a fragment of this infinite light, and by living in harmony with these mysteries, we can illuminate the path not only for ourselves, but for all humanity. Thank you very much for accompanying me this far. May the light of divine wisdom be with each one of you. Namaste.